Hey, what's up, everyone? Sadhika Badari from Extra Coding YouTube channel. So, friends, in today's video, we're gonna learn how to work with CSV files. So, what are CSV files? CSV files are the files which have the values separated by commas. So, as you can see here, we have some values and they are separated by comma. Let me give some space so that it's more clear to you. Okay. So as you can see, my values are separated with comma. Here, in this file, this first line, as you can see, is my heading. Okay, or you can say header. And these are my values. See, first name, last name and age. This, this, is, this is the heading and this is the values. See, Adrika Vadaria 14, Anika Singh 3. Right? So, as you can see, this is my CSV file. Now let's see how to work on them. So let's see how can we read them. So here, first we will import from CSV import reader. Okay. So here, this is a module. So what is a module? A module is already built file in Python that has many functions. So we can just import those functions and work with them. Okay. Suppose we use list, right? And we use the function length. If the length function was not there, so we could have to write the whole function, whole code, so that it can function like length function. But no, there's already a list file in Python and it has a function called length. And we use that only, right? So, here, as you can see, CSV file is an already built file in Python csv.py and there's a function reader so for reading the csv file we could have to write the whole code but no there's already a built-in function that is in csv.py file so we can just import that function and we can work with that okay so hope modules are clear to you so here we'll write CSV file is equals to okay so first we have to open the file so with open and here we'll give the name of a file so file dot CSV okay and if you want to give the mode then you can give R mode, but I ain't gonna give the mode because as I already told you that by default the mode is reader only, reading mode as F and this F will be treated as object. Now here CSV file is equals to reader F. Okay. Now, if we'll just print it, print CSV file, okay, now let's see, see, it is an iterator as you can see here, right, so here, we have to use for loop for reading the file okay so here we can just write for data in csv file okay and here we will just print the data so now if we'll run it see first there's first name then second name 
uh, sorry first there's first name last name and age these are the headings then we have the values this is the first value this one and this is the second value this one okay so both the values and the header is in separate are in separate lists as you can see it is in first list it is in second list and it is in third list right so hope this is clear to you and uh, here as i told you that it is an iterator so you can loop only once on it i have already told you in my previous videos okay and if you want to loop over it again then you won't be able to do it right even if you write this statement again it will not print anything it will only work once okay now let's see how can i do this using dict reader okay so here if i import from csv import dict reader okay so this was with reader and this is with dict reader right now we have to write like that only so with open and here we will pass the name of our file file dot csv and then it's the reader mode as here let's write f1 okay and here let's write f2 now we'll just write my csv is equals to dict reader and inside this we'll pass f2 now here we will write this is also an iterator so here we have to use for loop for reading the data so for uh here we can write uh, let's use i only for i in my csv okay now here we will write print i see here when we are printing it as you can see it is returning a dictionary see this is the dictionary of first one let me show you see wait a second let me just comment this one out so that it is clear to you see here uh let me just open it see here first name is the key and adhika is the value last name is the key bhadori is the value age is the key and 14 is the value in second one the second value first name is the key anika is the value last name is the key sing is the value age is the key three is the value right so here the heading as i told you this is the heading and these are the values right so the heading is the key here okay so as you can see first name is the key for adrika and anika so that's why in both the dictionaries here as you can see these are the dictionaries in both the dictionaries adrika and anika are the values and for them the value the key is the same first name because it is the heading okay let me show it to you in the folder as well see okay see here is this is the first name adrika and anika last name bhadoria and singh age 14 and 3 so here first name is the key for 
these both values last name is the key for these both values and age is the key for these both values okay so hope this is clear to you okay so here now as it is a dictionary you can write it like this also suppose you want to assess the names so here you can give the first name wait a second yeah first name so here first name as the key okay now if you'll run it see the first names are being printed so hope this is clear to you now here as you can see the values are separated by comma but the delimiter can be anything it can be a star it can be a comma uh, comma it can be a pipe it can be anything so here let me just change the delimiter and show it to you yeah so let me write hash okay but now here if i run it wait a second so yeah you'll see it will throw an error right because now the values are not separated by comma so here we have to give the here where we are passing this file here we have to give the delimiter as well so delimiter is equals to and here as we have given hash so it will be a hash and uh, it will be like this okay so now if i'll run it see it's working perfectly if i write it like this it will still work perfectly right now let's see how can we write the files so here as we have re read the file using reader and dict reader now we will write the file so from csv import writer okay reading csv files and here it is writing csv files okay now here we will use the writer function and we will open it with open here we will give my file dot csv okay and then here wait a second let me just okay wait a second here we'll write my csv dot csv okay so my csv dot csv is a file and then here we can use writer mode append mode whatever mode you want okay so here i'm just using writer mode and then as f3 and then here we'll use 
राइटर राइटर एंड हेयर वील राइट एफ थ्री एंड हेयर इट वी विल स्टोर इट इन राइट सी एस वी ओके नाउ हेयर इफ आई रन इट As you can see, my file dot CSV has been made by our program automatically. Okay, there wasn't any file named my CSV dot CSV. Okay, so here, see. Now, let's see how can we write on the CSV file. So for writing, we can use two method. First is write row, and second is write rows. So first, let's see how can we write row. So here we'll write write CSV. Wait a second, write CSV dot write row, and here it will take a list, and inside the list we'll have the values. Suppose. first name okay and then we have last name then we have h okay so if we we'll run it as you can see there's nothing in my my csv dot csv okay if we we'll run it Okay. Now, if I open my CSV or CSV, you can see that there are comma-separated values here, right? Now, for this, for making more values, we have to write it like this: copy and paste it. We have to write it like this. So. and here same okay so now if i see my csv file see first name uh, th this is the first values and this is the second values that we passed in list so here as you can see there is the space between them automatically i haven't given that space but there's already a space so for this what can i do is i can here write after this w mode i can write new line is equals to like this okay i ain't going to pass anything inside these quotes now if we will run our program see first name last name age adri ka bhai 14 and anika singh 3 right so the function that the code that we have run just now has override the code has override the file that was just a second before that was having the space between them right so here it is so here how can we write with write row write row now let's see how can we write with write rows here in write rows you just have to write write csv okay and then here we will write write rows write rows wait a second 
या राइट रोज विल टेक अ लिस्ट एंड इन साइड दैट एनदर लिस्ट विल बी देयर ओके एंड दिस लिस्ट विल हैव दीज वैल्यूज सो कॉपी एंड पेस्ट आफ्टर दिस विल हैव एनदर लिस्ट एंड साइड दिस like this okay and like this so now if i comment this out so here in right rows what we have to do is we have to pass a list and inside that list there will be another list and that and those list will contain the rows so this is the first row this is the second row in second list and the third row is in third list now if i run my program see it is still working the same way so this was right row and right rows hope this is clear to you now let's see how can we write files using dict writer okay so from csv import dict writer okay now here let me comment this out let me just okay so here we will use dict writer right so here we will just use the file with open and let's be the name of the file to be csv here test csv or here let's say learn csv dot csv okay and here we'll open it with writer mode you can use the read mode as well and here we'll give new line is equals to empty space and then here we will write as f4 now here we will write dict write is equals to here we will use dict writer dict writer and uh, here we will give the name of our file f4 and while using dict writer you have to give the name of the heading so here i have my csv so here the headings are first name last name and age so we have to specify the headings okay so here as you can see there's no such file named uh, learn csv dot csv here let me show you see there is no file so here for this header we'll write field names sorry field names is equals to and here we'll give a list which will have first name last name and age let me just copy it copy and paste okay now after this if i write f4 sorry 
head will be dict right. So dict right dot right header. Okay, so we have a function right header. Now here, as you can see, there is no file named learn CSV or CSV. If I run my program here. See, learn CSV has been made, and here's the header. Okay, now let's see how can we use right row and right rows. Okay, so right row. So here we'll write dict right. dot right row okay inside this we'll pass dictionaries okay so here the first name first name is the key and the value is adrika then we'll have another key value pair in which we'll have last name and we'll have Hadaria and then separated by comma we'll have another key value pair in which age and 14. If you want you can write it in separate lines as well so that it's more clear to you. Okay. Yeah. So here it is. Now let me just copy it and make another row here because it is as it is right row. So we have to make it make the dictionaries again and again. Okay. So that's why. We have to write it something like this. So right here are my two dictionaries and now if I run my program. See now if I learn dot CSV if I open learn dot CSV you'll see that I have the header. Okay. And we have the values here. So here. What you have to do is you have to write the values in key value pair when you are writing the row. So here you have to pass a dictionary in which you have key value pair and the keys should be the name of the headers. So here first name is my header. Okay. So here it is my key and the value of that first name will be Adrika. Okay. And then last name as you can see is another key. Is another heading here as well, and the value will be Madaria. Age this. Okay. So now let me show this in the file as well. See, here it is working the same way. First name, last name, age, and we have the values. Okay. Now here is the Right row. Now let's see how can we write rows. So let me just comment this out. And here we'll write right rows. Okay. So in right rows, let me just write dict right dot right rows. So right rows takes a list and inside that list we'll have dictionaries okay so here let me have my first dictionary this one copy it and paste it right here
we can separate it by comma right so this is the first dictionary and this is my second dictionary here you do not have to write the header like this because we have already written the header here so here let me just write like this so as you can see that we have a list here this one from here to here right and you have to separate these dictionaries with comma okay so here we have a list this is a list and inside that list we have dictionaries see we have dictionaries and it should be separated by comma here the dictionaries are separated by comma right so here now if i run my program see it is still working the same way right so this was how we write with using dictwriter so hope reading with reader and dict reader is clear to you and writing with writer and dict writer is clear to you okay so right that's it for today's video you'll get the source code of this video in the description box so see you soon in the next video guys thank you so much for being with me till the end of the session